Hey everyone, it's Rachel back again with another reaction video. Today I am going to be reacting to a new single from Neon Graves. It is called All That We've Become. I am excited to check this out. I've been excited since I saw a tweet about this to keep them on my calendar for this upcoming release weekend. So I've been waiting. It's out now through Dreambound, so I'm gonna check it out. I think this is like the fifth or sixth, probably fourth or fifth single that they've put out this year. Uh, they put out a full-length album last year that I've still been jamming, so I love Neon Graves. I think they're awesome. I do think that they're underrated right now. I think more people need to hear them, and then they'll start getting out there. Also, if their vocalist happens to watch this video, I really hope you start your YouTube channel again because your covers are awesome. If I'm going to link it in the description. He hasn't done one in a little while, but I went through and watched all of them, and they're amazing. The covers are ridiculous. Their regular stuff is awesome. So I'm stoked to check it out. I'm going to stop talking, and we're going to get straight into it. Neon Graves, all that we've become, let's discuss. This is my favorite Neon Graves song ever, I think. So let's discuss. Until now, my favorite song from Neon Graves was Take Me Away. Now I think that this song is my favorite. This was just so cool. It, it had the amazing clean vocals. It had a interesting vibe to it. I feel like they always have a way of like, putting some sort of mood that I've felt before into a song. I don't know, I've, most people do, but for me, Neon Graves is really usually spot on. I vibe with their music very well. And this was just so cool. <laughs> From the very beginning, I was definitely enjoying it. And then through the end, my expectations were exceeded. I was expecting solid from Neon Graves. They've not disappointed me, but this was just like 
outstanding. So they're definitely evolving. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the track. <laughs> so as you might be able to guess that I'm going to talk about, if you've seen my reaction videos before, that groovy guitar riff was just so clean from the very beginning. It, you can hear that uh, in the very intro of the song. It just starts you right off. So off to a good start, of course, with that. And then you lead in with the clean vocals. I'm not sure ever with Neon Graves which one will get when we're going in, but either one is fine with me. I definitely enjoyed the way that this song started off. I think it was the right, <laughs> the right move for this song, given the events of the rest of the song or the style of the rest of the song, however you want to say it. I really liked that the music kind of built up and then like dropped you off and then when the vocals hit, like you're getting the intro, you've got drums, you've got the riff, you got everything going and then you just kind of get let off um, and then there's like a little bit of an electronic tone with the clean vocals in the beginning. It sounded super cool. That chorus sits very well with me, as I said before. An incredible vocalist. Uh, the covers, like I said, really showcase the range of talent that he has but love the clean vocals as well as the uncleans, loved that chorus. I liked that part a lot where it dropped down and said in hell and super low. You almost couldn't tell what was going on in that part. Really dug that. That's not like a standard part, next part to that song. Not what I was expecting. Love to see it. And then there's a lot that goes on in the end of that song. Just even before it goes back to the chorus again, you've got that like switch up of the vocal pattern of, of the whole tone of the song. It's kind of different right there. And then if you listen really hard when the chorus comes back in, there's like some sort of like piano or something in the chorus. Sounds so good with his vocals. And then in that like prior to the breakdown, you have that like echoing sound of anticipation going on. And I knew what was coming, but I also did not know what was coming. I really like that, like, spoken word part leading up to the breakdown, too. And then just everything about the actual... Well, there. Everything about the actual breakdown was definite yes from me. I would have given it two thumbs up if I were thinking, but this was, like, a song I was just way too stoked for. The bleh was, was perfect. I just feel like... It didn't sound like trying to copy, like, you know, a carbon copy of Sam Carter or something. It was, like, their own style, but the bleh was put in there. I am a sucker for that done well. I've said it before. I'll say it a million more times, probably. And then, instead of, like, circling back and ending with the chorus again, which I would not have minded because I love that chorus, as I said, but it slows down even more and just gets even nastier. So I thought that that was an awesome way for the song to end. Definitely two thumbs up to Neon Graves, even though I didn't do it during the actual reaction. The thumbnail will probably even be able to be better because that was an awesome song. Um, but two thumbs up. This was awesome. I can't wait to see what's next for Neon Graves. They are consistently putting out awesome stuff. I have been having, actually, I've had their uh, their album from last year on repeat this, this week. So it'll probably be on my chart tomorrow. Um, today is Thursday. I don't know when I'll post this. I probably shouldn't have said tomorrow. Today is Thursday. Uh, I post my chart every Friday. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And if you have a song that you'd like to be added to either of the lists that I work off of when I'm doing request-based videos, both links will be in the description along with the Discord server invite link. A lot of fun conversation going on there if you want to join us. And lastly, if you're enjoying the style of content, music, whatever I post on YouTube, I post more music-related content on my Instagram. My handle on there is Rachel Reacts. I'll put it up here on the screen for you. I have a different one that I use as my main account, but I'm currently locked out of it, and I'm not sure that I'll ever get back in at this point. But I will still link it in the description. I think if I ever do get back in, I'll just post and say I'm moving to the Rachel Reacts account at this point because it's been a while now since I've been locked out, like two weeks. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.